name is Moses, and this is Vale, Fahad, and Eduardo, and we go to Cal State San Bernardino, and this is our group video project for English 103, 103B, and our video is about non-controversial books. I mean, non-fiction controversial books. My, my book name is uh, Muslim Women Reformers, and uh, I want to go over the most arguable points. The first one is uh, why is the government don't give women's advance in the society? And the other point, why is the society don't give the women advance in the society? And uh, about the book, I like the book because it has many good points. In my research project, I have four parts. The, second, uh, the first part is uh, two points about uh, whether I like the book or not. Or uh, two points, uh, two arguable points, and in the second part, it's, uh, it's basically summarized the book, which is all about uh, Muslim women, and uh, it uh, it has like many different countries such as Afghanistan, Iran, and Pakistan, and uh, they are arguing uh, why women don't have their Rights. In part three, I explained uh, whether or not uh, the, the writer is biased, but I think he's, uh, she is biased because she doesn't give the other uh, any credit to, to say their point of view. And in the last part, I, uh, I have like uh, two uh, paragraphs. The first one is my uh, opinion about the book and the, the second uh, paragraph is about my friend's opinion. And this is all. Thank you. Alright. My book is called Islamophobia. Uh, Making Muslims the Enemy by Peter Goldschleck and Gabriel Greenberg. And uh, the, two, the two major points that I found were that the, the authors argue that, that the Muslims has always been seen as the enemy, that even since before 9-11, since, since the religion started itself, that Christians uh, just bagged on uh, Muhammad, the, the, the Prophet Muhammad. And uh, another point was that the political cartoons that were created after 9-11 had a huge impact on the stereotyping of Muslims. And I liked the book um, because it was quite interesting that there's a lot of stereotypes that I myself didn't know existed. And they helped me have a more open mind about not to believe the media and what they always say. And, um, it was also, um, I, I don't think the author was was biased because he did generalize the political cartoons. He could have added more information about how the cartoons influenced the people, whether or not they, most of the majority of the people that did see these cartoons were affected or influenced in some way. And um, for my paper, I, I included the two points that I just said. And then I included the summary of, um, and within the summary, I summarized each chapter of the book. And um, that's, that's basically it. Well, um, my book is the same what my sis had, um, Islamophobia, Making Muslims the Enemy. Uh, the book is talking about the Islamophobia uh, major problems that is affecting to the all other people, uh, to all other nations. It refers to the general fear of Islam among non-Muslims. It's happened that after 9-11 uh, attacks, uh, the, st the, the people start to discriminate uh, Muslims uh, as a tourist people. And uh, this book, the people, the authors, convey our inside, because I'm a Muslim person, convey our inside voice to the out to the book and write and, and they write uh, about our feelings so that's why I like the authors uh, mentioned two 
uh, argumentative points. The first one is the media media effect. The writer the writers concentrate on the political media and their influence to the U.S. citizens. Also, the other point <coughs> is the stereotype. Uh, the stereotype that the media uh, make it to hold the Muslims. Uh, the writers discuss that the political cartoons insult the whole Muslims even though if they are made for a particular group. So this is the, the, the two major uh, argumentative points that I found it in the book and those are the, what I like. Thank you. My book is called Where Men Win Glory, The Odyssey of Pat Tillman by John Cracker. Basically what my book is about is about Pat Tillman is a former, was a former professional football player and leaves the NFL to join the United States military after the 9-11 attack. Throughout the book, Crocker uncovers different life stages in which Tillman goes through from early childhood at the time and they're killed by Canyon Eastern Afghanistan. In my point, in my opinion, I will categorize this book as a political biography tailored in the third person because it is Crocker discovering the sense to make it relevant its readers today and this, today it has a continued to be a book of which caused several controversial statements because there are handling of the announcement of Tim's death of the U.S. Army. As we read the book, we, um, I discovered how Crocker interviews tells me with his wife, family and friends, and even in control conversations with the soldiers who serve alongside. And my opinion, um, I, I, I like the book because it shows pretty much how really Pat Simmons was. He was a former football player. He left the NFL once he was going to get a budget of $3.2 million to join the military for, for four years. His um, second year, he left to Iraq. And his third year, that's when he went to Afghanistan and he got killed by a a friendly military soldier, and pretty much um, John Crocker did a journal to write a Pat Tillman's death, and that's pretty much what I like about with the book. Like he told about the, what he really was, and they call him as a legend he was. That's pretty much it. And well, in conclusion, thank you for everyone, and thank you for the class uh, uh, 103 uh, that they are learned from Dr. Bakov. And uh, we hope to see you at uh, next quarter. Thank you.